What is going on guys? It's Constable Chang coming back at you with another video. Today we are doing another video in this Braxton Miller League. I think I said last video that I thought this was going to be the last installment in the Braxton Miller quarterback experiment, but um, I do have that retirement thing as a head coach and that makes your players play longer. So he's a 38 year old quarterback still playing in the league, so good for him. So we are going to do um maximum three more years in this video but i'm not sure if he will play into his 40 so this might be a shorter video but uh then we could put the rest that Brox miller is the best quarterback ever to play the game so to start off this video i think we're going to be doing a couple trades i think in the last video i said i needed a cornerback and then i was going to add some better players on defense to help stop the san diego chargers team who was burning me in the last video uh, middle linebacker for the Oakland Raiders I think I was going to pick up uh, maybe some other players but we'll see but let's start off by oh sorry by uh, starting to trade for a cornerback at trade number one we're going to go Wade Lutman I drafted him uh, years back he's 32 now starting to go down in overall so I got rid of him uh, also threw in a first this year and a second this year takes a lot to trade for corners in this game but I got a good one in Cade Waller 23 year old 91 overall already and uh, superstar development is uh, primarily what i look for as well and uh being a young player is also good so welcome to the team waller with my last trade probably in year number 16 scott heath he used my backup left tackle moved him to the right tackles position because the raiders were interested in him um, so with that trade value, I also threw in a third rounder this year and a second next year in exchange for a very talented middle linebacker, Ellis Tooten. I think he's 23 or 24 years old. 99 overall superstar development. Very, very good player to add to this defense. So um, th that's all the trades I'm probably going to do. Probably going to have to shuffle around my linebacker core a little bit. But after that, I'll show you guys my team and then we will get this year underway. So this is what the team's looking like heading into year number 16. I got a fullback, I guess, last year, and he's developing nicely. Jay Prosh retired two years ago, so I think this guy was a rookie uh, pickup by the computer for me last year. Developed nicely because uh, I do run the ball pretty good uh, in the simulation. But this is what the teams are looking like heading into year number 16. O-line's pretty good. Players are getting old. They're going down in overall, so I got to win and win now kind of thing. So offense is good. Defensively, he's looking real good. That linebacking core is looking real nasty. Middle linebacker, it's a 99. Right outside is a 93, and left outside is an 86. My two safeties are both 90, and picked up that Waller. Very, very good young cornerback um, to add to my team. So the team's looking pretty good heading into year number 16. So we're going to start simming, and we will pick it up with you guys in the playoffs. We are in the playoffs, year 16. Uh, we play in the divisional yet again. We haven't played in the wild card in uh, multiple seasons. 15 and 1 is our record, so just shy of that perfect uh, regular season. But that's all right. 15 and 1 is very, very good. So players got some decent XP to spend, but I will do that after. Let's take a look at some stats, awards, all that good stuff. Braxton Miller, 4,930 yards, 46 touchdowns, only 8 interceptions. Rushing, Lorenzo Beverly, 1,363 yards and 19 rushing touchdowns. Receiving, JJ Casey, 99 catches, 1,344 yards and 9 touchdowns. LeVon Bledsoe, 99, 97 catches, 1,342 yards and 15 touchdowns. And DeAndre Applewhite, 92 receptions for 1,001 yard and 6 receiving touchdowns. So three guys over 1,000 yards. That's always nice to see. Ellis Tooten, 125 tackles, led the team. Tackles for loss was Hanoyan with 16. And quarterback sacks was Colton Nowak, yet again, leading the team with 15 and a half sacks. And Kobe Waller, the newcomer, uh, with five interceptions to lead my teams now yearly awards i'm sure braxton miller is your super or not super bowl mvp maybe but he is your league mvp i should say and bill o'brien won coach of the year just uh, another year braxton miller is uh afc offensive player of the year defense player of the year guy from the um browns uh, Nowak was number two and then rookies don't have to worry about that best quarterback braxton miller Running back, Youngblood, best wide receiver, Bledsoe on my team, best O-line, probably because you'll see all my guys there. Best D-line is Nowak. 
Linebacker is Youngblood, and DB is Waller. I uh, usually never get the best DB. So, and Robert Aguero. So a lot of my guys got awards, which is nice to see. So I'm just playing this player XP, and then we play the 10 and 6 Cleveland Browns in the divisional round. So the Cleveland Browns, their best player is like a 93 overall tight end or something, so they really shouldn't be a threat. But it seems like these divisional games are always the closest, and I think I won. I didn't lift up my head and see the final score, but I'm assuming I beat Cleveland 24 to 16. Like I said, the, these divisional games are always close, even against bad teams. But we are moving on to another conference championship. So this game is going to decide who is the AFC champions and who is moving on to the Super Bowl. So we play Jacksonville yet again. They have a 99 overall quarterback and a 99 overall tight end. I think I said that in my last video. Very good team. We played them in the conference, I believe, oh, or the Super Bowl. I can't, I can't remember, but looks like we're going to uh, possibly walk away. I don't want to say it too early, but we run the clock. I'll get a field goal. 32 to 14 is your final. And Braxton Miller has another shot to get 10 Super Bowl rings. So in the Super Bowl game, I think we're playing in Miami again. I see palm trees and stuff, so I think uh, Super Bowl is back in Miami. We play the 11-5 Detroit Lions. They're only rated 83 overall, and this Houston team's on 98. So on paper, we should win, but they do have a very good quarterback who's 97 overall. Also a 97 over overall right outside linebacker on defense. Looks like uh, 31 to 17, uh, late fourth, and that is going to be your final score. And Braxton Miller gets 10 Super Bowls. Like I said, uh, Super, uh, you could wear a ring on each finger if they fit. So that's pretty cool. And the Super Bowl MVP, um, Braxton Miller, yet again, 321 yards, two touchdowns. Seems to always get it done in the big game. So uh, he's got six more Super Bowls than Tom Brady. Um, but having 10 uh, um, Super Bowl wins is like very unrealistic, but um, that's why we play Madden. Um, so I'm going to be probably doing yet another year. Sim to the offseason, see if Miller retires or not. Uh, he will be 39 next year, I believe. So um, I believe quarterbacks will probably play in their 39s, but pro I, don't, I don't think I've ever seen a quarterback in their 40s in Madden, but maybe Mix Miller will be the first. So... Another successful year. Time to do the offseason. Braxton Miller is coming back for another year. 39-year-old quarterback. Still getting it done. His throw power is down to a 72. He is... Uh, his accuracy uh, still doesn't go down. So I guess just your throw power and your speed and stuff. But this is what the team's looking like. Um, I think this is year 17 or 18. I've um, lost track, but... My center retired, my left guard retired. I'm uh, probably trade for a center, but my right guard, this guy's like 24 and he's got quick development, so he's pretty decent. A lot of the players are going down in overall. So I'm probably going to trade for a center on offense. I probably could use another good receiver, but we'll just keep Applewhite. He's been with his team since day one, and he's going to retire a Houston Texan on the defensive side of the ball. I believe my defensive tackle retired um what was the name Patton Patton or something I can't remember so I'm probably going to trade for a defensive tackle as well and other than that the team's going to stay the same and Braxton Miller is possibly going to play for 11 Super Bowls but <laughs> we will see um so I'm going to trade for a center and a defensive tackle right now for a center, I went to Detroit and got theirs. Andrew Shaughnessy, 24-year-olds. Uh, he's got normal development, but 82 overall player. Uh, a lot of room for improvement there. And that defensive tackle went to Pittsburgh, got their defensive tackle, Patrick Ridley, 23 or 24 years old, uh, superstar development, 85 overall player, traded a first this year, a second and a third next year. So that's probably going to do it for trades. I just want to check out my left end position I really don't have one um but I'm probably just gonna pick one up from free agency because I'm gonna be done with trade so uh, I need a couple free agents I'll pick them up right now and then we will show you guys my team and we're off to the playoffs so it looks like I still have Josh Potter he wasn't shown on the depth chart so I was assuming he retired because he was kind of an older player but 31 year old 92 overall um gonna trade him away because the other guys are younger and uh 
have more upside now. Uh, I'm going to be looking for a defensive end. And that defensive end, I just went to Chicago. They were the first team that popped up. So I got Cruz. I think he's 27 or 28. So uh, he's kind of up there in age, but he's already a developed player. 93 overall. Uh, good player to add to my team. So this is what the team's looking like. Braxton Miller, he's uh, going down in overall. He's been doing that for a while. Uh, down in the 80s now. He's an 89, but still very good attributes. Minus... His throw power is down to a 72, and he used to be a, a mobile quarterback, but his speed is a 69. Uh, other than that, the team really stays the same. couple O-linemen retired. I brought in Shaughnessy, uh, Robbins. I think he was a backup last year. Uh, ben, my tight end, used to be good, but now he's old and he's 84. Take a look at the defense here. The linebacking core is very good, a lot of speed. Uh, safeties are good. Corners are good. Uh Improved the D-line, got a bit younger at D-tackle, and Robert Aguero retired at kicker, so I picked up this Kaiser or Kieser in Francie, and my punter uh, Cotton retired, so I picked up Groy in Francie as well, so new kicker and punter. Um, so the only like actual player in real life left on this team is Braxton Miller at quarterback, so I'm ready to go. I'm going to start simming right to the playoffs, and we will see how this team does. So after the regular season, we play in the Divisional yet again against that San Diego Charger team who was burning me in the last episode. Our record on the year was 10-5-1, so definitely not as good as uh, we once was. Uh, that's a Toby Keith song. I don't know why I just said that. But yeah, we're starting to go down, and overall, I guess those players played key roles on this team, and bringing in uh, the newcomers is going to take a while um, to gel. So let's take a look at some stats here. Braxton Miller, almost 5,000 yards yet again, 4,928 yards, 37 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions. Rushing, Beverly, 1,356 yards and 8 touchdowns. Receiving, uh, LeVon Bledsoe, 106 catches for 1,488 yards and 12 touchdowns. Very good year from him. DeAndre Applewhite, 104 catches, 1,056 yards and 4 touchdowns. And J.J. Casey, 94 catches, 1,120 yards, and 8 touchdowns. So those uh, three guys got all over 1,000 yards yet again. Take a look at some defensive stats. Ellis Tootin, 129 tackles, led the way. Some tackles for loss was Patrick Ridley, uh, the newcomer from Pittsburgh I um, traded, 16. And quarterback sacks was Colton Nowak yet again, uh, leading the team with 12. And interceptions was Kobe Waller with 9 interceptions. Very good year from him. So we will take a look at yearly awards. MVP was not uh, Braxton Miller. Where's Braxton Miller? He's fourth on the list. Coach of the year, guy from the uh, Patriots. AFC player of the year is Braxton Miller, though. Defensive player, guy from the Patriots. Rookie, we don't have to worry about that. Best quarterback, Braxton Miller. Best running back is Youngblood. Best wide receiver is Bledsoe. Best O-line, I'm sure half my guys, if not all of them, are there. Nowak is best D-lineman yet again. Best linebacker, guy from the Chargers. Best defensive back is Kobe um, Waller. Uh, best kicker is Jeffrey Maddox from the Oakland Raiders. So I'm going to spend some player XP. And um, instead of simulating in-game, I might just go here and go sim right to the Super Bowl just to see if we make it or not, just to speed up the process. Uh, but first, let's spend this player XP. So after spending player XP, this is what the team's looking like. Um, quite a bit of my players went up in overall. So, um, my fullback's an 89. Bledsoe's a 97. Uh, O-line, Shaughnessy's an 86 now. Robbins is a 79. Uh, Clements a 95. Uh, defense, I got two 99 overall players. And Tootin at middle linebacker. And Kobe Waller, after his performance, had 36. 36,000 XP to spend, so he is a 99 overall as well. D-line, everyone's over 90. That's uh, looking pretty stacked. Linebacking core stacked. Safeties are stacked. Corners are good. Um, so instead of simming in-game, let's just go like this. Sim to Super Bowl, and we will see if we play in that game. Looks like we do play in the Super Bowl against the 11-4-1 Arizona Cardinals. But for this, uh, we will be simming in-game. So I will see you guys in this game. Our opponent in the Super Bowl is the Arizona Cardinals. They're only 81 overall, and I think we're 98 or 97, something like that. So we're uh, on paper pretty good. They do have a pretty decent quarterback who's a 93. 
But um, see if Braxton Miller could still get it done with that 72 throw power. Hopefully he's uh, kind of nickel and diming his way up the field. Uh, and looks like that is the plan. So 11 Super Bowl rings. I'm not sure where he's putting them all on his body when he goes out to the club or whatever. But he's 39 years old. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a 40-year-old quarterback in this game. I think I've seen a 40 overall player, but it was like a kicker. Um, but I don't think Braxton Miller is coming back next year. But I've been saying that for like two or three videos already. But 40-year-old quarterback, I don't think so. His throw power is going to be like this shit. But anyway, uh, my running back actually went MVP. 29 carries for a buck 49 and two touchdowns. So another very, 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 I don't know how much times I can say very, but it was a very good year. Braxton Miller has 11 Super Bowl rings. The guy's a goat. There he is um, with his guys hosting the Lombo Lombardi Trophy with Bill O'Brien, who I said previous times I really don't care for as a head coach. So let's skip that. Uh, Braxton Miller, 255 and one touchdown, as you see there on your screen. But I'm going to end this game. We'll do the offseason, um, and I will check if Braxton Miller retires, and we will pick it up there. So I just simmed it one week. We are in re-signing phase in year 2032, and I'm not seeing Braxton Miller on my depth chart. So just to double confirm, let's take a look at my roster. And looks like he is finally retired, 39-year-old quarterback. I think that might be the magic number. Um, so I'll keep that in mind when I do Terrell Pryor and Denard Robinson. That uh, you know, with that retirement trade at quarterback, a player could play till he is 39. So let's look back on his time here in Houston as their quarterback instead of their receiver. So let's take a look at do do do. Let's go career stats to start off no we can't look at that we have to go nfl records passing yards braxton miller is leading by a long shot drew Brees is number two on the list uh trailing by like eight thousand yards so braxton miller in his career threw for eighty one thousand two hundred and eighty nine yards passing touchdowns he also holds that record uh number two is the Cardinals quarterback, he beat out Peyton Manning in that aspect. Um, but Braxton Miller, 709 interceptions or touchdowns. But it's not going to show his interceptions. But uh, last time I showed you guys his touchdown to interception ratio, it was like 4 to 1, like even higher than that, I would say, like mid 4 to 1. Um, other than that, I don't think maybe is Knowlton on here for sacks. There he is. He's uh, probably my favorite defensive player on this team. I drafted him as a rookie. Um, what else can we take a look at? Legacy awards for sure. Let's go by quarterback here. And Braxton Miller is there. Tom Brady is number two on the list with four Super Bowls. But Braxton Miller is leading the way by a long shot. 11 Super Bowl rings. 12 championships, and 46 yearly awards. So I think it's safe to say that he is the GOAT. He's the best there is, best there was, and best there ever will be to play quarterback in the NFL. So he was drafted, I think, in the second round by the Texans out of Ohio State. I think with this roster, he was a 73, like low 70s, maybe like 75 in the mid-70 range. I picked him up. Uh, moved into quarterback, and he was there from he was a 23 or 22 year old rookie till a uh, 39 year old uh, seasoned veteran uh, with all these uh, accolades, uh, 11 Super Bowl rings, and stuff like that. So um, that's gonna do it. Finally, we get to wrap up. Braxton Miller um, turned out to be a very good player, but I surrounded him with probably the best uh, team ever. Uh, was a dynasty. Uh, for a very long time so next i think people are saying to terrell Pryor from cleveland he's a wide receiver now actually having some pretty decent success there but i think with this newest roster update he does have slow development so that's gonna suck but i'm gonna try to do it anyways and he's 26 uh years old uh people also want to see denard robinson running back for the jacksonville jaguars used to play quarterback a little bit uh university of michigan 
So I'll do him after that. And if you guys want to see Randall Cobb played quarterback a bit uh, in university at Kentucky, I believe. And I know Edelman did, but Edelman's already like 30. So I might do him if you guys want to see, but he won't really get any better because he's already an old player and he'll start to regress even at a quarterback. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this Braxton Miller um, episodes. I know I sure did. It turned out to be... Um, quite a hit uh with you guys uh so thanks for watching leave a like comment and subscribe and we will see you in another video